Say hi to everybody out there in YouTube land. Hello everybody, welcome to class number five out of 20. Steve Ross says online tuba classes. Um, coming at you from Sydney, Australia, still in isolation. Um, let's get straight to it. Today's session is gonna be primarily on low notes. I've been getting requests for low notes, low tone studies, as some of you might call it. Uh, today we're just going to be working on the big tuba, and then on Thursday's video we'll be working on the upper tuba. So today will be low notes with the big tuba, and we're also going to be doing more with mouthpiece buzzing and slurs. Alright, so just to get us collected and to um, get rid of any external thoughts or worries out of our mind, let's just take, let's take a little meditation here. Um, count for yourself. 30 very slow deep breaths and with each inhalation positive focus energy motivation and with exhale exhale everything that's not in the um, realm of being positive all right here we go we're going to do 30 of these calm yourself down sit up straight this is time for you to focus with your tuba and then we'll get straight to work all right 30 deep breaths Feeling good, ready to do this. Low tuba playing, some lip slurs and mouth piece buzzing. That will be the focus for this session. All right, picking up your tuba. Now we're going to play your fundamental note. If you're playing a C tuba, such as myself, it's a low C. If you're playing a B flat tuba, it's a B flat. F tuba, F, etc. All right, 
So big deep breath, and we're gonna just play a C, just like we did in the first in the first class. tuba, an F, E flat, or another brass instrument in another key, we will be in intervals. All right? So never mind the note. The note naming I'm calling out is just first, second, going down chromatically until you get to fourth or one and three, depending on your instrument. All right? We're going to do this as a set of three, so we're going to do it one more time, and then one more time. Two more times. Same thing. Big, full breath. Breathe deeply. Say that with me. Breathe deeply. Remind you. Air. Sound. Then everything else. Open the second. sense to you. A bigger sound without being louder. Okay? Just think of something being bigger but not louder. Picture your sound in your head. Feel the sound. Hear the sound. Here we go. Third time. Same thing. vibrate slower, which means we're going to need a little bit more air as we go down. All right? Now we're going to do the same thing from a G, a fifth above the note you started on before, so the next open note on your partial. So again, if you're playing a B flat tuba, it'll be an F, F tuba, it'll be a C, for us it's going to be a G, all right? G, F sharp, open, second, and then we're going to go low, and then we're going to buzz. All right? I'm loving this. Hope you are too.
full breath. All right. Split. Blade. Two. Three. Third time playing. This time we're going to keep the pattern all the way until we get to our pot pedal fundamental note. All right? I might have to wiggle the valves between notes because they're sticking. Here we go. above that to this one. This is how we're starting to really work the lower register. We're going to do this bit by bit. We're going to go down chromatically from this fundamental note to this one. We're going to go down chromatically. I need to speak slowly because this is being translated with subtitles for our, our friends in China who might not understand English. Alright? So, welcome China. Ni hao. There we go. Love to have you in this. From the open, going down chromatically. If you have sticky valves, and there's no time to oil them, just wiggle them in between. Alright? Through. Through.
same thing from second valve all the way down to second valve. This is fulfilling all those requests and thank you for all of those of you who have subscribed to the Steve Rossay YouTube channel. Thank you and thank you for the requests. Over the weekend it was low, low, low. Let's go low. From B to B, same pattern. Two, big breath on beat four. One, two, three. times and then we'll go on from first bell which in our case is B flat to first bell all right pause the video do that on your own a few times and breathe through it as well all right welcome back times from one and two. And when you come back, we'll go from two and three. Welcome back from two and three. Do that 
a few times from 2 and 3 to 2 and 3, and then come back to us. Great, welcome back. Now, this will be the final one of the series, uh, working on the low note. So, in the fourth bow, you know the drill. we did from a previous lesson. And that is the figure That was from lesson four, part one, to be class one. Sorry, to be class four, part one, if you want to go revisit that after that. But here we go. On the low, low, low fourth or one and three valve combination. For C2 is it's G. The pattern I just sang you to. Heard. piano and a mezzo forte. Nice, beautiful sound. Controlled. Focus. a few times and message me. 
uh, write down in the, in the practice journal what you're doing and send it to me. And say, Steve, this is what I've been doing. I've been getting a lot of uh, glorious and wonderful feedback from some of you out there saying what you've been doing, that you've been taking it all 12 octaves, uh, sorry, all 12 scales, four octaves. It's been a long day. Um, I love it. Keep, keep in touch. Let's have uh, some two-way communication here. Write to me on Facebook, private message me. Now, the shift. A lot of my students ask about the shift, and when I travel around the world, well, when I was traveling around the world, I get asked at many lessons about the shift. Nowadays, I get asked on online lessons uh, by Skype or by Zoom that I'm teaching to people from around the world. I get asked questions about the shift. Now, when we're playing down here, you might have a different setup, such as, now I'm not the exact example of a shift, but you might have an example of something pivoted like this, getting something like, as opposed to something right in the middle like, necessarily a shift in comparison to what some people out there do. Some of the professionals who are very famous and some students who are very well developed do massive shifts of like completely changing where they are on the mouthpiece. My answer to you is practice both ways. Both ways. Get comfortable with both ways. So if I'm to practice this one, that kind of sound quality or that dynamic for something in the orchestra or the band or a solo piece that requires bang. But if I'm moving around, if I am moving around, I might not have time to make that shift. So I also need to be used to be playing in the other position. So what I would do is I would practice with both your shifted position, if you have one, and the normal position. If you don't shift, this doesn't apply to you. It's great. Um, what I'm doing is not so much a shift as what some other people do. Mine is more of just of a gradual change in setup. So you might want to think of it this way. You want to think of your shift as a, a slight difference in your positioning for the notes and try to minimize that difference as much as you can, especially when you're moving around. If anybody has any questions about the shift, please send me a private message on Facebook or send me an email. My email address, by the way, is tubacoach at gmail.com. Tubacoach at gmail.com. So you can access me by email or Facebook Messenger. So for those of you in China, email will be much easier. All right? Now, you can pause the video now and do some more of those low exercises. Otherwise, we're gonna get into some lip slurs and mouthpiece buzzing, all right? So, and by the way, I didn't have a good posture when I was demonstrating the amateur shifts because I wanted you to see it. And I didn't want you to miss your view of the, of, of the sleeping cat. Now, they, they sleep almost as much as koalas. I live in Australia, koalas sleep 20 hours in every 24 hours. These old cats sleep about 18, so it's quite, it's quite relaxing, isn't it? As a matter of fact, after this, I think I'll lie down over there and have a little bit of a nap before dinner. All right, here we go. Lip slips. Right, we're gonna start on this, uh, which is a C for me, so it's gonna be an open note on whatever instrument you have, not your lowest one, but the octave higher. <laughs> So we're going to start on that one, and we're going to uh, lip slur down a fourth. Oh, 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 and then we're going to buzz it, and then slur it again, and then two, one, one and two. All right. This will be the lip slurring exercise for tuba class number five, and I'll add more as we progress. All right. Here we go.
playing. Or whatever pitch you're on. Trying to buzz in tune. I'm trying. There we go. Second valve. Same thing. Buzz? If you make a blooper, buzzing will fix it. opportunity of being isolated and having all this internet time to go online and find some exercises for yourself online that you can do in a small room or your living room of your home where you don't even have to go outside that's going to get your heart beat going it's going to make you make your body strong all right I'm going to give you two hints one is by a gentleman by the name of David Goggins G-O-G-G-I-N-S. He's a former Navy SEAL and he's an international motivational speaker. I do follow him. I cannot keep up on his exercises, take a little bit of it, but he has put on YouTube um, a one hour routine with lunges, push-ups, planks, you name it. Oh my gosh, it's like a taste of US Navy SEAL training. Now, you don't have to be macho and do that uh, exactly like he is, but you will be able to find things from his video um, that will help you go do your own research, find some other other resources. There there are things online now about a man who recently ran a marathon in his living room by running around the table for a certain amount of time with a step counter. All right, you don't have to do that, but what I would like you to do is communicate with me. Let's have this going both ways. Um, email tubacoach at gmail.com or my Facebook Steve Rosse private message. All right, now I am going to conclude with a life coaching tip. I am nearly certified, a certificate four, as a professional life coach by the International Coaching Federation, the ICF. And I love it. I love the study. I like working with pro pro bono clients, tongue is getting twisted because of those slow slurs, the free pro bono 
life coaching clients I've been working with. Um, I love it. Thank you for, you for those of you out there who are doing that with me. Here's a life coaching tip that you can apply directly to tuba playing. Be very wary of the word perfection. Try to stay away from the word perfection because when you try to be perfect, the other P word, which is a no-no in the life coaching school, is procrastination. Now procrastination, for those of you who don't speak English natively, uh, means putting things off, not doing things. And believe it or not, the psychological studies have shown that trying to be perfect at something often leads to procrastination. So what I could do is I can say to myself, I bloop a note on one of my lip slurring exercises I did with you. But I'm not here to be perfect. I'm here to become a better version of myself today than I was yesterday. Improvement, growth, improvement, growth. So rather than going for perfect, we want to improve and grow. And if we get so good, or you hear somebody so good that to you they sound perfect, that's great, that's wonderful. But then you have to use your creativity and your imagination. How can that be better? And then, then it goes up. So nothing is really ever perfect. All right? So take out perfectionism in you and replace that with everyday growing, everyday learning, everyday becoming a better version of yourself. Be in contact with me. By the way, some of you have asked for online private lessons. I am now set up to give online private lessons and started at the end of last week. So if any of you um, would like to take up this opportunity while we're all in isolation, I'm more than happy to, to make an arrangement. And uh, otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the end of the week for the Tuba Studio class online number six. Bye for now and um, have a good week and keep playing low, all right?